In this video, I will introduce you to the city of Kashgar and one of its most important tourist attractions. First, I'll take a brief tour of the city and then head to an important historical and tourist site near Kashgar, the Afa Koja Mausoleum. The main attraction within the city is the old town of Kashgar, which I've previously shared a video of in the link above. Kashgar, located in western China near the borders of Tajikistan, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, has a rich history and culture and is recognized as one of the main hubs on the Silk Road. The city has a history spanning over 2,000 years and has been influenced by various cultures and religions, including Buddhism, Islam, and Zoroastrianism. The majority of Kashgar's population consists of Uyghurs, who are Sunni Muslims and speak the Uyghur language. Uyghur culture is strongly evident in the city especially in its music, dance, and traditional crafts. Here is a park in the center of Kashgar. A seemingly old and beautiful park where music could be heard from all around. As we got closer, we encountered this lively and cheerful scene. As you can see, elderly people are enjoying themselves full of joy and dancing. Now we are at Afak Koja Mausoleum. The Afak Koja Mausoleum was initially built around 1640 
as the tomb of Muhammad Yusuf, a Central Asian Naqshbandi Sufi master who had come to southern Xinjiang in the early 17th century and was possibly also active in spreading Sufism in China proper. Later, Muhammad Yusuf's more famous son and successor, Afak Koja, was buried there as well in 1694. As believed, the tight mausoleum contains the tombs of five generations of the Afagi family, providing resting places for 72 of its members. It is perhaps the finest example of Islamic architecture in Xinjiang. The high and low Grand Mosque, located near the Afa Koja Muslim in Kashgar, holds historical importance as a significant religious and cultural site in the region. It reflects the rich Islamic heritage of Xinjiang. The mosque features traditional Islamic architecture, including minarets, courtyards, and intricate design elements, showcasing the region's architectural style and cultural influences. Shanghai Garden is located adjacent to the mausoleum of Alpha Koja. These two places are associated with the legend of a fragrant concubine also known as Shang Fei, who was taken as a consort by the 18th century Qianlong Emperor. Although the exact history of the garden is unclear, its association with the legend of Shang Fei has made it a culturally significant site woven into the local folklore over time. At this place, three dance and music performances are presented to visitors, each telling the story of Rekrand Concubine and her marriage to the Emperor. I've already shared parts of these performances in the links above. According to the legend, Shang Fei was a weaker woman from Kashgar, known for her beauty and naturally fragrant body. She was reportedly chosen as a consort 
by the Qianlong Emperor of the Qing Dynasty and taken to his court in Beijing. This was my last video from the Xinjiang region of China, but there are many more tourist attractions in this area. I hope I can see the rest of them another time. Until next time, bye-bye.